welcome to this new video this video is regarding year to date in direct query so you know in direct query we can't use time intelligence function so usually we use to use time intelligence function for import mode and it will be easy to use dates ytd and dates mtd dates qtd also so but in the case of direct query we won't be able to use this ytd so what we are going to use instead of that how we are going to achieve this ytd in direct query we will see in this video regarding that so ytd means it is from the sales or whatever it is the values from january to december of a particular year and it will be increasing definitely so definitely it will be a cumulative sum so in this example we are going to see and for the direct query we have we can't do lots of manipulations or transformations in the power query so we have already done the calendar table and the sales table in the SQL itself, we are going to connect it to the SQL server and SQL server itself, we are having a calendar table and sales table. And for the direct query, what we are going to do is we will be disabling the filters and we will be getting the sum of the sales and then we will disable the current filter and we will take the year as the maximum year and we will take the date as which is it which should be less than or equal to the maximum date. So we will see the example right now. We are having two tables, one is the calendar table of course lots of columns are there and we need only the english month name and this is of course adventurous works so we will take the table and in the table we will be selecting the year calendar year and we will take the english month name so now we have the calendar the calendar month name and now we will select the sales amount to that so this is sales amount and we will select the ytd also for that so for that we need to create a measure for that we will create a measure so we will give the name as sales ytd equals to calculate and of course we need to get the sum of sales amount and then we will provide the filter function and inside the filter we will take out all the current filters of calendar table that is dim date and then we will use a condition that is dim date dot calendar year should be maximum of dim date dot calendar year and dim date we need to get the date exact date so exact date is in the column full date alternate key so this date should be less than or equals to maximum of full date alternate key so this is the query we are going to try and see whether ytd will work we will select that inside the table yes this is exactly what we are was planning to get it because 2010 december that is the last month and we got the last month that is a ytd and 2011 from january onwards it is taking the cumulative sum of the sales so it is adding these two and it is taking it as ytd same with respect to this result it is adding the next month also and finally you see in the december you will get the correct amount 70 75 525 that is the actual sales amount of 2011 so it will take the cumulative of all the years and it will be showing of course the value is still february you can use an if condition also if you need to show it in a proper way if you can use the if condition whether it is blank or you can. so hope you understood this easy way of getting the ytd in direct query so have a nice day